Sometimes it's nice to be proved wrong. I want to talk to you today about removing fashion colors out of your hair. I have some pre-colored swatches that I colored with, um, with some fashion color. Just did a really quick little color melt to try to get all three primary colors in there. Um, so we can not only observe how well these colors are removed by different methods, but how well different colors are removed. Today we're going to test out the traditional, sometimes called a soap cap or shampoo cap. I also want to just do a regular lightener formula, kind of see how, how the hair feels and how long that takes. I also have some matrix color eraser, and we're going to try two different formulations of this because this is labeled to be mixed with uh, water or 20 volume developer. And then I'm going to try a method that I, that I saw in a recently viral video. And we're going to, we'll duplicate her recipe and we'll compare all of these together and see how well uh, they stack up with one another. The viral one was dish soap, purple shampoo, 20 volume developer, and baking soda. Equal parts. And in the video, this, this person has pink hair and it seemed to do a really good job removing that pink from her hair. Now, as a professional, a word of caution. In general, of all the colors I've ever removed, pink is the easiest to remove. Like it would have, it probably would have faded out anyway. And I'm not trying to throw any shade her way. I'm glad she found something that worked for her. But if her hair were blue, chances are her hair would have turned green. If her hair were purple, chances are her hair would have turned green. There are so many different factors and some people's hair holds one color better than somebody else's hair that's seemingly in the same condition will also hold that same color. Just a word of caution. However, I haven't done the experiment yet. Maybe I'll be shocked at the results. I'm glad it worked out for her. So first thing we're going to do is mix that up. It smells terrible. All right. So there's our YouTube. So a traditional shampoo cap is equal parts lightener developer, usually 10 or 20 volume, and a purple shampoo. And it kind of smells like a litter box. We're going to do a traditional ratio of lightener. So it's going to be one part lightener, two parts 20 volume developer. Now the SoColor color eraser I've used before, it calls for different ratios per what you're doing. Typically to remove direct dyes, you're going to use, you're going to start with just your water ratio, which is one packet. It just comes in packets like this. One of the active ingredients in this is like a dry peroxide. And there are others that are similar, but that means that the minute you open it, it's going to start oxidizing, which means you really can't save a packet. So you might as well use the whole thing. So one packet of this to two ounces of warm deionized water. Okay. None of what I'm doing today smells pleasant. Now, one of the things to note about the color eraser is this is not intended for on the scalp use. This is a product that's available just to professionals. You can't buy this in Sally's. You shouldn't be able to buy this online and it will lighten your natural hair as well. So that means if you have like some fashion color highlights that you're looking to get, get rid of, this is not the product for you because this will lighten the hair in between the highlights too. Did I mention this is also off the scalp only? The rest of these things are dish soap, our soap cap, and traditional lightener is typically all can be applied on the scalp, whereas our color eraser is for off the scalp use only. All right, let's get these on as quick as possible so we can get a good representation of how well they work compared to one another. So there's our traditional lightener, our soap cap. Let's get our viral color remover. All right, so it's been 10 minutes and we can check, see how we're doing. Now you can see with this color eraser, as I go and move that color around, it looked like not much was happening, but just that pigment was being pulled out and just sitting on the surface of the hair. Now, if I do this one, same thing is happening, but I don't think we're ready to, to pull it all off yet. This is our traditional lightener which once again, doing okay. Let's 
shampoo cap. And our viral video with baking soda and dish soap. And you can see a good amount of pigment seems to be coming out. We're gonna continue timing and we'll see. At this point, I'm going to rinse out at least one of my swatches. In about another 30 minutes, I'm gonna rinse out the rest. We'll come back and compare how they all look. One of the reasons I got into the beauty industry is because there's always something new to learn. Fashion is evolving, chemistry is evolving, techniques are evolving, technology is evolving, artists personally evolve. Like the beauty industry is changing constantly and if you don't like change and you don't like learning new things, then this is definitely not the business for you. But one of the reasons why I got into this business is because I like change, I like learning new things. I wanted to find something where I could continue learning for the rest of my life. That's also why I test things out, why I compare things. I wanted to be proved wrong. Sometimes it's nice to be proved wrong. So here's the results. As you can see from our upper camera, they're all still a tiny bit damp because, well, I'm hungry. <laughs> because you can clearly see how much color has been removed. This is a control swatch. So this is what our swatches look like in the very beginning. I dampened that up a little bit too. And with the exception of our matrix color eraser that we mixed with our warm deionized water. We processed this one for 30 minutes. The rest of them processed for an hour total. I do not see noticeable color removal from this swatch. I can actually see that the color is still bleeding. All the swatches were shampooed with hot water. The blue is clearly still there, almost no change at all. Same with the red. The yellow might have faded, but the hair was yellow to begin with. Regular Light Master Lightener with 20 volume worked pretty well. Probably did the best with the red out of any of them. I feel like the yellow is entirely removed and the blue is just left over with a little tinge of green. It's a very light green, would be pretty easy to cover up with another color or perhaps even tone out if we wanted to. This is our traditional shampoo cap where we mixed equal parts, 20 volume, 20 volume, lightener and our purple shampoo and it did almost identical to the traditional lightener although the undiluted lightener that we didn't have the shampoo in it i feel like did a little bit better with the red comparing to our matrix color eraser i feel like we got pretty similar results with 30 minutes with water one hour with 20 volume when it came to removing the blue the water maybe did the best this totally fine here all the yellow is gone. Although the color eraser did do a little bit better on the red. Maybe it's a toss up between these two as much as the red was removed. And the water didn't do so great on the red. However, I also wanna point out right here, this color eraser did definitely lightened up the previously unlightened hair as well. Honestly, I was really hoping that the YouTube trick would work, but my professional opinion was it worked because it was because that hair was pink and whatever combination her natural hair texture and that pink, I'm glad the trick worked for her. You would never see me adding dish detergent and baking soda to anyone's hair in the salon. I prefer to go with the tried and true. And honestly, all of this hair feels like it's in pretty decent condition. Although out of all of them, I feel like my shampoo cap, the texture of the hair feels the worst. Removing direct dyes, removing semi-permanent hair colors is no joke. I definitely recommend seeking professional help if you are a consumer trying to remove those colors. But best of luck to you and your coloring journeys. If you've tried any of these or any others that worked better or had, if you've had similar or different results, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you want to hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.